There's a debate going on within the metaphysical community on whether people will get left behind or not in the upcoming shift of consciousness into the fifth dimension and beyond. In this video, we will take a look at what our contemporaries are saying about this topic and what it means to you. Jenny Schills recently had a dream where she was distinctly shown how the split in the shift will occur. Dolores Cannon also spoke of something similar when she described how the new earth will separate from the old earth. In Jenny's dream, she was working with a group of beings who were scanning people that were standing in line. The scan determined which of these 12 groups they would be sent to. The split in the shift was shown through the metaphor of a couple with marital issues. The wife scanned as a two and he, the husband, was a zero. He was told, sorry, you can't go forward. You have to be at least a one. The wife could still stay with her husband if she chose to do so, but she would be missing out on her spiritual evolution in an opportunity that only comes around once in 26,000 years when the next cycle occurs. The 12 groups were explained to Jenny as groupings of frequency. The differences between each of the one through five frequency groupings is huge, according to Jenny. She described it as the difference between a two-year-old and a four-year-old, adding that the six through 12 frequency groupings have smaller differences between them. When describing the frequency needed to be in group one, Jenny stated that it was very little. So many of our loved ones and friends are absolutely at least in group one, end quote. Jenny asked, what is it that keeps someone locked into a group five when they are wanting to move to a group eight? The answer she was given was fear. Fear is the number one thing that locks us in. This process helps to explain why many people may be fading away from our lives while others are being drawn to us, it's all about frequency. When Jenny asked about the process that was going on, she was told, this is the split. This is the shift. This is what we've been telling you about for decades. This is similar to how Dolores Cannon described Annie Kirkwood's vision of the new earth. Dolores explained, and I quote, the old earth is still vibrating at this low frequency with all these terrible things happening to it. But the other, the, the new earth, moves into the new dimensions vibrating so fast that it becomes invisible. So they are not aware of anything that has happened. This is why it's so important for us to not only work on our frequency, like Jenny was talking about that, but to maintain it at a high level. One of the main things that will hold people back from ascending and going into the new earth is fear, according to Dolores, and I'm continuing her quote. We're so steeped in fear, a lot of it is coming from the government. They, the beings who come through Dolores' sessions, said, you'd be better off if you didn't watch TV. Don't watch the news. Don't get caught up in the illusion. Dolores continued, the world is changing its frequency and vibration. It's already doing it. You know things are speeding up. Time is speeding up. Everything is speeding up. The earth itself has a tone, a frequency. That tone has changed and it has speeded up. This is proof that it's changing. The frequencies and vibration of the earth are changing. We're getting ready to shoot into a totally new dimension. We have to. The aura has gotten to the point where they can't do anything else to help it. We're just destroying so much here that there's going to have to be a separation 
to move into the new frequency. Dolores continued, and they said, the entire universe is watching. It's the greatest show on earth because it has never happened in the history of the universes before that an entire planet will make the shift at one time. When you enter the new world, you will have your physical body with you for a while. Then eventually, you will turn into light and have a light body. They said in order to make your body lighter, you have to change your diet. Dolores wrote the following in her book, Convoluted Universe, Volume 3. Dolores said, I've been getting so much information from different people, and they say the Earth is undergoing a transition. They say it will be like a raising into another changing vibration. Her subject, who was under hypnosis, said, The whole idea is we have to get people to expand just a little bit, and we have to get this level raised just a little bit. And when we do, we can make that change and make it easier for them. It will be the ones that we can't get to change that are going to be left behind. It's going to be horrible. We can't get them to see. We can't get them to love. Then the others, the ones that will change, will go into another world, another earth. It's like it's going to expand into another dimension. Let me see how I can explain this to you. It's like a raising, if you can understand. Like we're going to raise into a different vibration. We'll be able to see what's going on. We can't stop them. We can't help them anymore. It is like a separation, like two Earths. Is that what you mean? Oh, no, no. It's a changing of dimension. We're going to go from here to here, and those that can't change will be left behind. When we go into the other dimensions, will it be a physical Earth? It will be just like we are right now. That's what I meant by two Earths. Yes, yes. But they're not going to be aware of us. God help them. God help them. It's going to be so terrible for them. They won't know what has happened. No, they will know. That's the whole idea. They will know, but it's too late. But you said they'd be left behind. Will all people of Earth experience this? As I said before, everyone will be affected. It's just that there are those who will be sensitive who will pick up that it has been done. Some people will not realize on a conscious level that it's been done. It's been done on a soul level. If you were to put them in trance, as you have this person now, they would know that they have been affected, and they could explain to you what it has done to their genetics. But on a conscious level, they haven't a clue. They don't know, and that's what we want. I was thinking of negative people, murderers, rapists, beings of that sort. Will they be affected in a different way? Everyone will be affected. They will know on a subconscious level what has happened. As the subconscious changes and becomes aware of this and is activated, yes, they still have karma. This will also be affected because the planet in the future is not going to have karma. That is something that won't be allowed here. It will be a planet of light and peace and will be our grand experiment that succeeded. I've been told that this is why many in the universe are watching. Yes, that's right. We are here to do that and it will be safe. According to canon, some people will get left behind if they are still into the negativity. Yet canon added that you only need to be at least 51% positive to make the shift. Canon additionally stated that those who get left behind will be left with what they created. They'll stay there. They'll work out their karma there. They won't move into the new earth. Canon's message also resonates with information from the Law of One, which also states that one needs to be at least 51% orientation towards service to others to be part of the harvest. According to Ra, you do not need to understand the law of one or have an esoteric or metaphysical knowledge in order to ascend. According to the law of one, this is the condition for being harvestable. And I've never really liked that word harvest or harvestable. But this is what the law of one basically means to ascend. 
So the condition for being harvestable is being over 51% service to others and less than 50% service to self. Question, the book OSP says that if an entry is over 51% service to others and less than 50% service to self, then the entity is harvestable for the positive fourth dimensional level. Ra, that is correct. The negative path is quite difficult for attaining harvestability and requires great dedication. To be harvestable in the negative orientation requires at least 95% service to self and 5% service to others. Question. In short, no one will get left behind. Even nefarious people such as Hitler, Mussolini, and other world leaders who have worked against the best interests of humanity. It'll just take them a lot longer and many more lifetimes to reach their next level of spirituality. I'm going to wrap it up there. If you like the t-shirt I'm wearing, you can find it at N5D Quantum Tie-Dye at N5D.net. I'd like to thank all of our Patreon family supporters. And if you'd like to join us as well, you can find a link below. And until the next time, from my heart to yours, sending you all infinite love and light and I'm sure I will see you on the other side. Namaste everyone.